Hello friends and welcome to yet another amazing video of Wisdom Zone and this is Shubro and today I have a fascinating video for you because today I am going to discuss about synonyms in spoken English which is going to be imperative for your everyday English conversation because today I am going to show you 45 important synonyms that you can incorporate in your everyday English conversation and I am also going to show you 25 new sentences how to use those synonyms in your everyday English conversation so if you are looking for some great English practice please watch this video carefully and this video is just for you and it is also my honest request if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please do not forget and subscribe to wisdom zone and hit the bell icon so that you can get the first notification of this type of informative videos so without wasting any more time let's get started So welcome back friends as you see on your screen today I have a crucial discussion because today I am going to show you 25 new synonyms that you can use in your everyday English conversation and I am going to give you 25 new sentences with all the synonyms so that you can incorporate in your everyday communication. So before I move forward let me give you a brief idea about a synonym. So as you see on your screen a brief definition of synonym is given. A synonym is a word that expresses the same meaning as another word. So a word that expresses similar meaning or same meaning or close meaning as another word is called a synonym. We see two examples. First is big as you all know synonym is large and tiny. You must be aware about the word tiny but the synonym is minuscule right. So I hope you understood these are the two important synonyms and we are going to discuss 25 more important synonyms uh, without wasting any more time. So let's get started with 25 important synonyms and some new sentences, right? So the first word which we have on your screen, as you see cheap, uh, cheap is quite commonly used. So next time you can use the synonym inexpensive, which is quite formal. We can use this word everywhere. It is an adjective. So we can use this word like this way as you see. My new phone is quite inexpensive. Up next we are going to focus on the second vocabulary which you see on your screen is rude and synonym is impolite. So again it is quite formal to use impolite so do not use the word rude. So next time you can use the word impolite. It is also an adjective. Let's see how to use this. Sam thinks his boss is very impolite. So up next we are going to turn our attention towards the third synonym which you see on your screen. We can use the third synonym famished in place of very hungry. When you are feeling very hungry, you can use the word famished, right? Instead of saying very hungry, you say famous. It is also an adjective. So let's see the example. I felt famished last night. So up next, we will see the fourth one, which you see on your screen is very angry, which is a common way we express. We always say he is very angry. So it sounds quite boring. So next time you can use the synonym furious. Another option is livid. Both are adjectives. So let's see how to use my boss was furious to see the mistakes. So that's the way you can put this word furious. You can also use livid. So up next we are going to turn our attention towards the sixth one which is friend. We commonly use this term friend. Uh, but next time you can use the term buddy. Okay. Although it is slightly informal. So we can use that in informal context. Buddy. And uh, it is also a noun. So let's see how to use this beautiful word. Yesterday my childhood buddy called me. Up next we are going to focus on the sixth vocabulary which is poor and the synonym is indigent which I am quite sure is quite new for you. So the next time do not use the word poor you can use the synonym indigent. Let's see the sentence as it is an adjective we can use it like this way. It is our social responsibility to help the indigent people. So up next we are going to focus on the seventh vocabulary for today that is reach which is quite often used but next time you can use the synonym affluent let me pronounce it affluent and it is also an adjective so let's see how to use it Kevin belongs to an affluent family that means he belongs to a rich family so let us focus on the eighth vocabulary for today which you see on your screen is protect we often use this term because maybe we are not aware about the synonym so instead of protect we can use the word shield it is also a verb. So let's see how to use it in a sentence. She always 
shields her son from other boys. So let's move on. Let's see the ninth vocabulary which you see on your screen is clever which is frequently used. We can use the words intelligent which is also formal and it is also an adjective. So let's see how to use this. He seems to be an intelligent young man. So up next we are going to focus on the 10th vocabulary for today which is useful which is again quite common but next time you can use the word invaluable instead of useful. It sounds quite amazing isn't that. So it is an adjective so we can use this like this way. He gave me an invaluable piece of information. Up next we are going to focus on the 11th one which is famous. Famous is also quite frequently used in place of that. Next time you can use the term celebrated and you can also use renowned but I think celebrated is slightly uncommon so you can try this and it sounds great. So let's see how to use this beautiful word. He passed graduation from a celebrated institution. That means he passed his graduation from a famous institution. Up next we are going to focus on the 12th vocabulary for today which is help which is a verb and the synonym is aid and we often use help and it's too frequently used so next time try to replace it with aid so let's see how to use it smith hired a new assistant to aid him so let's turn our attention towards the 13th vocabulary for today that is hate so it is again too frequently used so you can use the synonym despise we can use despise and let's see how to use this word despise it is also a verb. She despised her husband for being unfaithful. So we are going to focus on the 14th vocabulary now which you see on your screen is provoke. Provoke is also quite frequently used. So next time you can use the synonym induce and it is also a verb, right? So let's see how to make a sentence with it. As you see the sentence is on your screen. He promised me to slap him. So you can obviously change the tense as it's a verb. So up next we are going to focus on the next vocabulary which is number 15 which is empty. It is also an adjective and next time you can use the synonym unoccupied. It sounds quite fantastic. So empty sounds too boring. So next time instead of empty you can use the term unoccupied which is an adjective. So it's a synonym. So let's see how to put it in a sentence. The house next to my building is unoccupied for a year. So up next we are going to focus on the 16th vocabulary on your screen that is soon. It is obviously an adverb so it's very important to see how to replace it. So exact synonym is shortly. So instead of soon you can use the term shortly. So let's see how to put it in a sentence. The receptionist told me that the interview will begin shortly. So like this way you can replace soon with shortly. So up next we are going to focus on the 17th vocabulary which is strange and the synonym is odd. It is also an adjective. So let's see how to use it in a sentence. Our new neighbor seems odd to me. So up next we will see the 18th vocabulary which is on your screen husband and the synonym is hubby which is noun but it is used slightly in an informal context. So let's see how to use it. Tell is her hubby is a reputed entrepreneur. So up next we are going to see the 19th vocabulary which you see on your screen that is describe. Describe is a very frequently used term so people who don't know the synonym they use this word again and again. So next time you can use the synonym recount. So it is also a verb and uh, let's see how to use it. The witness recounted the entire crime that took place. So up next let's focus on the next one that is number 20 which is find and the synonym is discover which is also a verb. So let's see how to use this word. My father discovered my wristwatch from my bookshelf which was missing. So up next we are going to turn our attention towards the 21st vocabulary which is valuable and instead we can use the word precious right and it is also an adjective. So let's see how to use this wonderful word youngsters are our precious resource. So up next we are going to focus on the 22nd vocabulary which is funny which is frequently used but we can use another synonym instead of funny we can use the word amusing 
which is slightly uncommon it is also an adjective so let's see how to put it in a sentence he is such an amusing man so up next let's turn our attention towards the 23rd vocabulary which is remember and it is again frequently used because most of the people do not know the synonym so instead we can use the verb recollect let's see how to use this i could not recollect his name that means i could not remember we can use another one that is recall that is slightly informal so recollect sounds more formal so up next we are going to turn our attention towards the 24th one which is enemy which is very common and people obviously forget the synonym or people are not aware about the synonym so the synonym of enemy is foe which is also a noun so let's see how to use this beautiful vocabulary corruption is our greatest foe so up next we are going to turn our attention towards the last and the final vocabulary for today that is number 25 and the 25th one is shout which is quite frequently used so instead of that we can use the term scream okay we can also use yell but scream sounds more formal and it is a verb but we can use yell also let's see how to put it in a sentence yesterday my manager screamed at me so i hope you found this video extremely helpful i have discussed 25 sentences using all the new synonyms which i discussed please watch this video step by step and practice and you yourself make more sentences using the synonyms and incorporate that in your everyday english conversation and do not forget to comment below and again it is my honest request if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please do not wait and subscribe to this channel wisdom zone so that you can keep getting the notification of this type of informative videos as soon as they are published so stay tuned for further informative videos and don't forget to like share comment